star athlete Lausanne Kutsia continues to train for the Tokyo Games, which were postponed to next year. While the first few weeks of lockdown required adjustment, Kutsia soon made a plan. Our reporter Hlunim Timkulu spoke to the visually impaired star about training in the era of social distancing. Like other athletes, Paralympian Luzan Kutsia has had to find ways around training in the COVID-19 era. Social distancing can't be a thing for me um, because I need to train with assistance. So um, you'll also notice when I run, I have to run close to somebody. So if, if I had to, if it was a law that I had to social distance, I wouldn't be able to train. Kutsia is visually impaired as a result of a congenital eye condition. That hasn't stopped the University of the Free State resident head from taking up athletics, running in a range of distances from the 800 meters to the marathon. The Plumfontein-born athlete does this with guide Xavier Adams by her side. I have to be fitted in the, the <laughs> athlete, basically, so that I must be able to speak, tell her what's coming up, if there's something in the road, if we're going to make a turn, uh, what's happening on the road, or if we are doing track races, that I should be able to tell her who's where, uh, how many laps there is, the timings. The duo have found ways to navigate this new normal as they prepare for the postponed Tokyo Paralympics. We really have, you know, tried to be considerate in terms of when somebody's feeling a bit ill, you know, you avoid to come to training or you ask somebody else to assist for that day or you make another plan. The 27-year-old is managing the associated anxiety. I am concerned about, about the health effects of not social distancing, but I don't think about it too much. Because I think if I'm going to think about it too much, maybe I'll freak out. Kutsia says she is using the COVID-enforced postponement of the Tokyo Games to work on her weaknesses. Ronin Tumkulu, Blimfontein.